Hey folks, welcome back to the Cotswold Collectibles YouTube channel. I am Greg Brown, owner of Cotswold Collectibles. Um, we're bringing David back this week to talk about Canadian Mountie sets made by Hasbro. I'm not, an, I, I don't know anything about Canadian Mounties. Like I said, I'm a more of an adventure team guy. So I'm really interested to see what David has to say about this particular uh, line of action figures. Well, again, Greg, like the foreign soldiers of the world, the Canadian Mountie is one of my favorites. Right. And I have several, as you can see. Um, and I like to do a little bit of customizing with them and get different variations and, uh, you know, the Canadian Mountie was first created for Sears Simpson in Canada. Okay. And the first one came out as a deluxe gift set. And it came either, uh, it came in a, in a cardboard box that had a printed label on it with the art of the Mountie. And this is an example of the deluxe gift set. And he came loaded with a lot of gear. He had binoculars, a canteen, a white ammo belt, billy club, ice pick, uh, rifle, either in brown or white. Okay. Uh, he came with green goggles, radio, snowshoes. So he came with a lot of gear, and that was only available in the corrugated Sears Simpsons box. What year was that that they um, came out? I think 67. Okay. Yeah, 67, around 67, I think. He came out at the same time the State Trooper did. Okay. Because uh, they were issued, you know, in the race car driver. Okay. Uh, I think, that, I believe that was 67. So anyway, they uh, created the deluxe gift set. And uh, he came in several different variations in that gift set. Now, uh, originally he came, uh, uh, some of he, sometimes he came with the brown jackboots. Now, these are reproduction ones, but uh, he came with the jackboots and brown, which are very difficult to find. He also came with the straight lace-up brown boots really? in the gift set. And he also came with the black lace-up boots in the set. Okay. Um, so the boots varied uh, depending on what it was. It wasn't always the brown jag boots, but they only came in that deluxe set. And also he came with a special brown emerald patch. Now this one's not brown. This is a black one that was made by Gilbert, which is the exact same pouch that Hasbro made for the soldier. Really? But for the deluxe gift set, he came in brown. And this is a, this is a really holy grail piece to find the that brown ammo patch is very very difficult to find and it only came in the gift set so that, that brown one was exclusive to that particular exclusive set. to that right. so the only place you find the brown uh ammo uh, uh, first aid kit pack wow pouch so anyway and the jacket in this one is tagged hasbro japan so uh you can tell the difference between the action man ones by just the fact that it's tagged hasbro um, and that's that. That's the way that one came. And also, like I said, it came with a white and brown rifle. It came with this lanyard for his pistol. And the pistol is a Lebel pistol, but it has, it's the same as a Lebel, but it has the hole drilled through the handle. Into the handle. For the string to go through, yeah. And it's just really kind of like cotton string is the original string. So, right. Uh, anyway, this, this, is, this guy's one of my favorites. He's really loaded up, and I, I like the way he looks. Now, uh, a little later on, they also issued the Canadian Mountie in a window box. Okay. He didn't have quite as much gear. He had a few of the pieces, but not all the pieces. So he wasn't quite as loaded out. Uh, he had the snowshoes and and a few other pieces, but he didn't. He wasn't quite as geared up quite as heavy. And so uh, he came in that window box. And then they also issued the Canadian Mountie in a in a. Um, uh, coffin box. Coffin box. Yeah, that just came with the Canadian mounting with not all the gear and stuff. So with those three versions that you're talking about, were were they only offered in Canada or did some of these start overflowing into North and into no, the United they were, States? No, they were, they were only offered in Canada. Okay. To my knowledge, they were only sold in Canada. And, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of them ended up in the States. I mean, right. uh, my friend that I got the Japanese soldier from, I also got a state trooper in, a mount, in this Mountie from him. Because his uncle traveled to Canada and bought some GI Joes and brought them back, and gotcha. so I uh, had his trooper and his uh, Mountie, which is that one right there. So uh, anyway, but the hats, you know, the hats are, are a little bit uh, different on some of the versions too. The first issue hats came out and they were marked Hasbro Japan, and they're a really opaque, solid color. And then a little later on in the line, they eliminated the Hasbro stamp. So. The hats are not always uh, stamped Hasbro, but the way you can tell the difference is the Palatoy Action Man uh, Mountie hats are very kind of a translucent feel and very mottled. The plastic has kind of a spotty look to it, right. whereas the Hasbro ones are very opaque and very solid. So that's one way you can tell if they're not marked. Right. Um, now the uh, fabric on the Hasbro jacket is a little bit a uh, little bit better quality than some of the Action Man ones. I have two Action Man 
uh, sets right here to look at, and you can see the fabric's much, much thinner on these. The buttons are also a lot thinner. Uh, they have very flat, uh, almost it's a stamped flat buttons. Very, very flat. Yeah, yeah, because these thick. other ones are pretty Right, thick. right. Yeah. That's, a, that's one of the differences you can tell me, Action Man, especially later on in the Action Man life. Action Man also created a dog to go with theirs, and this is Brutus. He's the Action Man dog that went with the Mountie. And uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, he's just a, he's just a cool variation to put on there. Now the the uh, Sam Brown belt and holsters came in both right and left. You can see I've got left-handed version here, and I've got some right-handed versions mm -hmm. over there. So this guy's got the right-hand version. So the holsters also came right or left uh, that, uh, for right or left-handed. I brought this guy along because he's kind of my little custom guy, and I bought these uh, gauntlets from uh, Wes McHugh at Classic, Classic Plastic. Classic Plastic. Classic Plastic. I bought those from him. He had some awesome gloves. I thought they looked really good on the Mountie. And then this is a, I believe this is a dragon or a DID hat uh, to get the fur. I intend to get a fur coat for him, like a bear, bear style coat mm -hmm. uh, to put on there. But I like taking these guys and adding things to them. And this is a, this little piece is a great piece too. This is just a, an unmarked dog that I found online and uh, he the St. Bernard, and he came with the first aid kit, and he had really? a little barrel around his neck. So I thought he was the perfect addition to my Mountie collection. Uh, and again, you can find them on there regularly. It's kind of hard to find them with the with both of the pieces on them, but uh, right. it's just an off-brand dog. But if you look, if you type really? in plastic St. Bernard, you can probably find really no markings easy. on him, right? No markings at all. Huh. Yeah, so I don't know who made him, but he's the perfect uh, scale to go with GI Joe. And uh, so that, and then, and then later on in 1976, uh, Hasbro created, they created five different sets. One of them was Magnum Power, mm -hmm. but another one they made was a Mountie and, and it came out and he had a Sam Brown belt. That one doesn't have a Sam Brown belt. And uh, the tag was a nylon tag. And sometimes it was actually glued in there and not sewn in the really? jacket, but the tag is different. It's uh, it's that nylon late issue nylon tag like all the late issue AT sets had, and so they issued him too. And he just came with standard black boots. I have repro brown boots on him, but right. uh, he came with a Sam Brown belt, mm -hmm. no other accessories, and it looked just like that uh, on a you know for like a fuzzy head guy. So was this one? Was this one released in the United States or again was this? Yes, one? this one was released in the United States. So 76. Was, yeah, seventy six. Okay. It came out. They did a they did an America. They did an Indian American Indian. And they did uh, Magnum Power. They did a Canadian Mountie and a couple of other ones. They call them the Big Five. They're kind of hard to find. I didn't even know it existed. Yeah, yeah. It was only kind of a, a late deal they did. So uh, anyway, I'm not an expert on them, but that's what I've learned over the 40 years of collecting that I've been doing and, and talking with different collectors and looking at different things. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's just a tag that makes a difference. Sometimes it's just a color that makes a difference. You got to really, you know, spend some time immersing yourself into it and, talking to other collectors that have different things to really see all the different variations. But it's interesting. Uh, I thought, again, the Canadian Mountie to me is a very colorful, uh, cool set when he's all loaded up with oh, all the yeah, gear and stuff. He looks, a, he looks amazing. I mean, when it snowed here, one of those rare Texas snows, I took him out and shot a picture of him in the snow and everything, it looked pretty cool. But uh, I really enjoy, uh, again, he's kind of an extension of the Soldiers of the World to me because he's the Canadian Mountie. Canadian, so, yeah. Yeah, but I like all the different, uh, little variations and things that customize them and stuff like that. So that's a little bit about, that's a little bit about the Canadian Mountains. That's, that's super cool. I did, like I said, I didn't even know that they did a 1976 one. Cause I'd always, you know, I remember this one. I, you and I have worked on different versions of this mm -hmm, when we were mm -hmm. selling it, but I didn't know. And I knew England did their version. So that's amazing. Well, well that concludes our video for this week. Um, make sure that if you have any comments or anything in relation to this particular video, please leave them down below. Uh, we do read uh, the comments that everybody leaves. And if there are questions or comments, we do try to respond as quickly as we can. Um, if we don't, just be patient, we'll get there. Um, also make sure that, that you um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're, we are putting content out almost weekly. Um, we try to get it out every Friday. So if you subscribe to our channel, you'll get the notifications of a new video being posted. Um, also, as far as the comments go, um, if you want to see uh, different content related to vintage GI Joes or such like that, please leave them down below. We are taking suggestions. We have some ideas that are brewing in our heads, uh, but we too do, do take suggestions from everybody of like, if you want to do something adventure team leading and what specific, or if you want to learn a little bit more, we'll find out and we'll probably do a video for it. 
Uh, but in, until then, uh, keep on collecting, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.